Storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3. Weather coverage you can count on. Welcome back, my friends. We've made it to Wednesday, and now we're in the second half of Wednesday, so you can kind of say we're over the hill now as we come closer and closer to what's looking to be a pretty active weekend. But before we even touch on that, if you are headed out the door right now, you're going to run into some clouds. A little sun still poking through here or there, but these clouds have kept temperatures maybe a degree or two cooler than where we were this time yesterday. Okay, a degree or four in Rochester, currently sitting at 78 degrees. That is a four degree drop from this time yesterday in Charles City. Not a huge difference, only about two degrees there in Albert Lee. We we're right where we were yesterday, right around 80 degrees, sitting at 79. I do expect many of us to top off there around 80 degrees, slightly cooler than yesterday, simply because we do have more of these clouds during the afternoon. But the clouds will come in and then they'll start to break apart as we get into the evening. An easy going day. Do look at temperatures getting a little bit closer to the mid 80s for some of us. It's all going to be very dependent on how much of the sunshine is able to get through these clouds as we head through the afternoon. Point is, another above average day and one that does feature increasing humidity, if only by a few degrees of those dew points. But with the winds continuing to come on in from the south, we are starting to see, or rather have been seeing, some activity further to the west. Not a ton, a few sprinkles here or there, some light rain can be found just moving across the border as we speak. All of it is part of something much bigger though. As we zoom things out, you can see a very beautiful low pressure system, just textbook spin here with this one. And it does feature this right here, a cold front, helping to spark off a few of these early showers. But it really starts to impact us as it moves a bit more eastward, and it certainly will be. Now, as it does come our way, it brings the chances for showers, storms, and even severe weather. And with a few additional cold fronts and waves coming behind it, we can expect a cooler weekend, one that feels a bit more fall-like. So let's watch as this rain chance heads on in. We could see a few of these sprinkles pop up as we do head into the afternoon today. The chances are slim, but they're still there. It's worth mentioning and anything that does fall isn't going to last very long before we clear out just a bit as we head into the evening. This is around 9 p.m. All right, now let's move into the big day Thursday. We're going to stop it right here around 6 a.m. because this is going to be very interesting how things develop. You could get some rain during the morning and depending on how long this rain lasts, how much energy it pulls out of the atmosphere will determine how strong the storms are later in the day. Here we are around 5 p.m. We'll go to about 6, 7, 8 p.m. and we start to see some more of the deep reds. It's going to be an evening event if these storms do become severe. Almost all of us remaining under that level two risk for severe development and all forms of severe weather will be possible. So because of that, we have opted to change Thursday into the red. It is going to be an impact day, but once again, we're watching multiple scenarios here. If storms develop in the morning, that's going to take away the energy for storm development in the afternoon. If they don't, then we're going to get some sunshine, some warming, more fuel, and it could make storms stronger. All right, thanks for breaking us, breaking that down for us, Sarah. Of course.